Hey, what's up YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill. Your favorite Pennsylvanian toy reviewer. And today is another review day. It's Eddie Hill of Eddie Hill's Review. It's review time, people. And today we'll be reviewing another gimmick item from... Transformers, Bumblebee movie, Shatter, and she is a jet. This is the jet form of Shatter, not the car form. Before we review Shatter herself, we're going to look at the uh, packaging. There we got some nice artwork of my boy Bumblebee. <laughs> and of course Shatter herself in her robot form. Decepticon Shatter, Transformers Bumblebee Movie, Ages 6, plus Hasbro. Some nice artwork of Shatter in her robot mode. Well, printed product shot. Sorry if I have to correct that. And yes, she is Energonic Niter compatible. And there's a lot of warning information, Hasbro... More information, barcode, and that's all there is to say for the packaging. Now we're going to get down to reviewing Shatter herself. And look at that jet mode. It is really well done if I do say so myself. I will say for Energonic Niner, the jet mode's really good. Well, of course, not as good as the Studio Series, but good. In a literal spec. But before we transform it, does it roll? Oh yeah. Now we're going to show off the gimmick with this toy. I'm going to bring in my igniter. Plug it into shatter. Hold it down and there she goes. Into the background wall. <laughs> This is just my background with some Transformers tech specs for Combiner Wars and Bethel Park Soundwave. It's my review display. My review table. That's why that's trademarked over there. Got Autobot Combiners, Septicon Combiners whole bunch of things listed on those Cybertronian biotech things. But now we're going to get down to tr comparison with Shatter. Not transformation, comparison. Sorry, my autism gets really confused easily. Here we have Energonic Niter Shatter next to Energonic Niter Prime. Her target. Bumblebee. They look good together, if I do say so myself. And finally, here she is with another Decepticon I own, which is the Legends Class Energonic Niter Barricade. And I am going to get Dropkick to complete this line of Decepticons I don't have. Well, that's all there is to say for comparisons. Let's get down to transformation. We're going to start by folding these wings up like so until they're nice and flush against her back. We're going to split the nose cone, which that is the tricky part. Got to get in there really good with your fingernails if you can. And we're going to split the legs like so, and there we have Shatter in her robot mode. And she looks pretty good. Really well painted, really well sculpted. Posability is lacking in the legs. That's the only thing I dislike about this figure. 
but otherwise, in jet mode, it's pretty good, and the arms are pretty good articulated. You can't get much movement out of them, but you can get some movement if you move the arms in different ways. And she can be like, for the glory of Megatron and stuff. I will find B-127. <laughs> I have fun on this channel, for sure. But now we're going to get down to comparison with our Shatter. We're going to compare her next to Decepticon Barricade. As soon as I can get it properly transformed, Barricade can be a tricky boy. And here's what she looks like next to Barricade. And they look good together, if I do say so myself. Now, for comparison with some Autobots, we're going to compare her next to Bumblebee. which I've memorized this transformation completely. So as I can unpeg everything. Come on, Bumblebee. Sometimes these figures can be fussy, but here she is next to her target, Bumblebee. That's all there is to say for Bumblebee. And finally, next to Optimus Prime. Because what's a review without comparing it next to my favorite boy, Optimus Prime? Because I love Optimus Prime, hands down. Here she is next to Optimus. And they look good together, if I do say so myself. You're probably wondering, where did I get this figure? Well, I got this from Amazon for about 10 bucks, if I had to say. Is she worth adding to your Bumblebee movie Energonic Nighter toys, especially if you like gimmick items? I'd say yes. I love gimmick items. Pick it up if you're a fan of Bumblebee movie. Especially if you can't afford the Studio Series one. She is worth it. But before I end this review, I am now stationed on Twitter for any people who subscribe to my channel. Make sure to follow me on Twitter. Anything I can do to promote my channel. And that's why I enjoy doing what I do. And that's all there is to say for this video. Don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. And this is Eddie Hill, moving on and rock on and rock out.